And so there's a sort of joke going on here, right? It's not lazy, someone sitting there doing nothing. It's people who are hyper-efficient because they can't bear the thought of doing a horrible job. And they find, you know, better ways of doing things. And so Bitcoin and gold, how's it relevant to this quote of Trevor Lazy? Basically, there are two really important things in the world of investment. One is technology and the other one is commodities. We need both of these things. One's the real world, one's the virtual world. And it just so happens that basically Bitcoin has been every, ten, and every single theme in tech in the last few years. Yeah, every single theme. Now, maybe not AI this week. All of the other stuff, cloud computing, all of these things, Bitcoin's been ahead of the game. And actually, and Bitcoin's been ahead of all coins as well. Obviously, also it wouldn't be number one still. And then the same thing through the gold and commodities. Gold's beaten oil, it's beaten copper, it's beaten uranium, it's beaten food prices. All of these things that we keep being told are, are, just, are going to go grind higher and higher. Gold's always at the front and with less volatility. So Bitcoin, least volatile crypto, best feeding stable coins, and best performing gold, least volatile commodity, and best performing, and in both cases, the most liquid asset in the asset class. So let's put these things together, clever and lazy idea. And so I don't think gold's going to skyrocket anytime soon, particularly in dollars, because the dollar's going up again. So I do think that we've had the best for the time in gold. But if you take a one plus year view, it's a dead cert. Because what they've done is they've put the interest rates up too high. The inflation's coming down. That means real interest rates are pretty high right now. But that causes problems. We've seen banks fail. We've seen the British government come down last October because of what happened in the bond market. That same thing's happening again now. Temporarily, that puts a bit of pressure on the gold price. But the policy response will surely be in the next six, 12 months, much lower interest rates and, and probably the inflation resurging. I would always say that gold or Bitcoin, the answer to my mind is both. It's rarely going to be both at the same time. It's probably one of them's going to win. So in the risk all environment, we think it's going to be Bitcoin. In the risk off environment, it's going to be gold. So I think that you've got to assume that the economy is slowing down, particularly the Chinese economy. I and mean, that's been a very disappointing reopening. And gold is that ancient safe haven. But as soon as we have better times, then you just know that Bitcoin's going to lead the market higher. That's what it does.